Welcome back to The Talk Show. For those of you that just tuned in, I'm your host, Suri Smith. Do write to us at the talk show at ANN7.com and tell us about any cool cars that you've got stored up in the garage or even just anything that you would like to see more of on the show. Up next, there's a lot going on online that creates a lot of fear inside of everyone with regards to hijacking. Even just pulling up to your driveway at home, trying to get into your house is not safe anymore. Up next, we're going to show you guys the safest way to approach your driveway to avoid a hijacking. What we have here is the Peugeot 2008. 1.6 HDI. Now for those of you that can remember we have had the 2008 on the show before. We did however have the automatic version. This is the manual and it is a diesel. That is not why we're here today. Today we are going to demonstrate how to approach your driveway the safe way to avoid a hijacking. Now the wrong way to do it would be to have your windows down, music loud, not paying attention to what's going on around you and not even really just looking in your rearview mirror to see if there's any car approaching you. Uh, that is the wrong way to do it. Guys, take a look. This is how it's done. The wrong way. just acting out that scene is quite scary. I want you guys to be safe. The right way to do it would be to park parallel to your driveway, pull, put your windows back up, switch the music down, be aware of your surroundings before you actually even open up your gate. Once you see that everything's safe, then you can open up the gate, pull in and close the gate behind you. If you see that someone is behind you and that there is a dangerous situation about to happen, rather drive off without even opening up the gate and proceed to your nearest police station. That will be the safest way to do it. So now, the right way to do it. the right way to approach your driveway to avoid a hijacking. Up next, we're going to do a quick recap on the 2008 and compare it to the automatic versus the manual. Starting with the model featured on today's show, the Peugeot 2008 1.6 HDI Allure, which has a starting price of 314900 the HDI houses a 1.6 litre diesel engine with manual transmission which pushes out 68 kilowatts of power and 230 Nm meters of torque. It won't be heavy on the pocket at all as the 2008 Allure has a claimed average fuel consumption figure of only 4 litres per 100 kilometres as well as 6 standard airbags for your safety. Compare that to the Peugeot 2008 1.2 TGT line auto which we showcased earlier this year. The 1.2 GT line has a starting price of 349,900, sporting a 1.2 litre turbocharged petrol engine with automatic transmission, which pushes out 81 kilowatts of power and 205 newton meters of torque. The GT line will be slightly higher than the 1.6 HDI with average fuel consumption, as the GT line has a claimed figure of 5.2 litres per 100 kilometres, which is still very affordable. You will also get six standard airbags.
It's that time again when we take a look at what has been happening in the world of motoring. Rose Gallery and with me is Boaz and Lennon. They are two of the main artists who worked on the Casper project where they've actually taken a military vehicle and created a masterpiece. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat to us. Our pleasure. So tell us what inspired something like this? You know this vehicle during war time like early 70s and late 70s they were using this vehicle to traumatize people uh, such areas like um, Soweto, Mamelod. So the idea now is to promote peace. That's why we decided to make this vehicle and put beads on it. If people see it now, it's a friendly vehicle rather than something that you get afraid of it. I saw there was a little Bible verse. Yes, it's Isaiah 2 verse 4. Uh, they are going to beat their swords into brochures, which means they are going to turn the weapon they were using to kill people into peaceful way whereby we use them to plow, mm. cultivate the land and so forth. So the idea of doing all these things just promoting peace. I see. And uh, how many people were actually involved in, in creating something like this? There were 80 people, 8 zero, uh, including uh, 74 ladies from Pumalanga and six main guys. Boas Manjenga, Lennon Tinaro, Livingston Dombojuku, Kennedy Mashusha, Teomo Masanguza, Pangana Ipiri. They were the main artists. Are they also from South Africa? Uh, those guys, they're all from Zimbabwe. I see. And what a lovely way for job creation within our country, a beautiful country that we live in. Uh, how, what, tell me, I want to know, how many beads did you guys end up using to create this? The beads, like 63 million beads. 63, 63 million why, beads. why 63 million? Uh, we, we're just trying to reach that um, figure. Why? Because in South Africa, the population is 63 million people. So every bead there represents every nation in South Africa. So you can pick up even your nation there. That's beautiful. <laughs> and can a person drive this vehicle? Yes, it's a... Move there. It's, it's, it's a driving vehicle. You can drive it. I'm one of the drivers as well. And what we did with this vehicle, we found it in a scrapyard without wheels, without engine. So we take the vehicle, we send it to a Mercedes Benz to recondition it. So every part there is a Mercedes Benz part. Wow. So you can drive it anywhere, any direction. So tell me, did someone approach you with the, this idea or did you sit at home and think that you wanted to create something and then come up with it yourself? How did it, how did it all start? Uh, we met another gentleman from America called Ralph Zimmerman. He's the one who, uh, who promoted uh, the war project. So he employed all these people. The idea, we start, I think what can I say now is uh, we started with the AK for AK-47. He saw us just sitting on the corner making wire out of beads. So he decided, no, guys, can I make AK-47 out of beads? Then we say, Those are, are the ones that you see exactly within the... Exactly inside as well. Because actually within this army vehicle, they've, they've gone so far as every single detail has got beads on it and is also crafted. The seats are nicely covered. They've got AK-47 guns that are created out of beads. The steering wheel, every little pipe and everything is covered in beads. I absolutely love that. So that was where you started. Yes, and people also, they're wondering how we put the panels on the Casper. So what we did, we measured centimeter to centimeter to the Casper uh, using the card boxes. Then we color coding them according to the color that we need. Then we send those ladies from Pumalanga 
to imitate exactly what we have, did, we have done, then they send back as panels with beads. Then we stick those panels to the cusper using a glue called Sikaflex. That is stubborn glue. It's very, very strong. And it will last yes, yes. <laughs> through rain, you through anything. Yeah, nothing <laughs> so, um, and then tell us, is there anything else that's coming up soon from you guys that the viewers can look out for? Any new projects? Yeah, we have a uh, project in the pipeline. After this, we're going to do the drone. Mm -hmm. That drone as well is part of the Casper Y because they use this drone in wartime as well, whereby they keep weapons on it, like bombs and so forth. So the idea also to make this drone, to put beads on it, is to promote peace again. Well, that is, we need peace, you don't need peace. Yeah. You have to be the change that you wish to see in this world. And what a lovely way to start. Tell us um, also, is this going to be, this was in at the Melrose Gallery for the month of September, and it will now be moving along. Where will the viewers be able to see this next? Will it be anywhere else in South Africa? Yes, yes, actually. Uh, we are going to send this to London. From London, we are going to send it to LA. So it's now done in South Africa, it's moving abroad? It's moving abroad, okay. yeah. So there's uh, some art shows there, so we need to display this uh, all over there. Well, there you have it, guys. Head on over to the Malrose Gallery and check out the Casper before it heads on over to LA or London. <laughs>